Welcome to Swag Fails. In this video, Instant Karma, USA Road Rage, and Bad Drivers. All of these thrilling moments will be waiting for you in today's video. Learn how to become a wiser and a safer driver. Start the journey now. The dude probably either slammed the gas way too hard and braked even harder to took traction control off by putting it in sports mode because they thought it sounded cool. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Anyways, that is not too bad that the first thing out of her mouth was an apology and not a loud excuse for some aggressive behavior. And that flight van, look at that. Golly, there he goes. Look at him. Look at this dude. Has lost his foot. In 2.9 miles, turn right uh -oh, to merge onto I-4 uh -oh, West. Oh, that's what happens. Oh, snap. Get him. Get him. I hope that's the law. Yeah! woo This woman with a restricted driving license was struggling to park her car. After shifting into reverse, she accidentally rammed her car twice into another while parking. Thankfully, nobody was injured. The impatient driver got mad at me when I wouldn't back up and let him continue overtaking multiple cars at once. On the wrong side of the road, over double white lines in a school zone. <laughs> the tailgater gets upset about why I braked and pulled up next to them, cruising and yelling, instant karma happened. Everyone involved was fine. Just driving home from work, and this happened. I was going to stop and get their information to send them the video, but you didn't hit anyone else, and they were fine when I looked over at them. He couldn't wait behind the bus. He pulled out without even checking for traffic. Luckily, it didn't cause any other collisions. It could only be insurance fraud. There is no way he did not see a car behind him in the rear view mirror. Just because he is late for work and does not want to talk behind someone, instead of stopping and throwing a tantrum, he could have arrived a few seconds earlier, dude. A better drunk guy is behind a wheel, which could be dangerous for those around. If only the convenient police would show up right now. I was driving down this rough, and this car decided to pull in front of me without checking the side mirror. You gotta check your mirrors, dog. One to do told me to slow down. Even though I was driving less than 20 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour zip. One day without <gasps> the guy did not see cars slowing ahead when he realized he swerved hard to the left and hit the guardrail at 75 miles per hour. But everyone was safe. Well, we have brake check. <laughs> okay, what do you think? What are you doing? Hi, uh, what do you Oh. Oh, what you doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. okay, good. Yes. Yeah. It happened in Palisades, New York. Road rage ends in a crash. So everyone, please, stay calm while driving, as nothing is more important than your safety. If it wasn't for my dash kit, I would have been at full. 
The driver and the witness said, I ran a red light. Anyways, you should slow down and be alert when entering an intersection when there is a yellow light. It looks like she was going about the speed limit, had flashers on and wasn't causing any danger to anyone. He probably could have waited for backup. It seems to be a case of how dare you not immediately respect my authority. Illegal U-turns off the shoulder. Gotta love how fast the airbags go off. You can see them inflate faster than the dash cam flips. He told the cops that my wife slammed on the brakes and he had no time to stop. Do not forget to prepare yourself for the dash cam. Awful lot like Christian Bale. It looks like Ben, or the, certainly the stereotype, or, or the, the, the it almost seems like the SUV aims for the corner on the purse. The SUV does not even try to go to the side, which there was plenty of time for. The Honda even had time to steer out of the way. She was on her way home when a Lexus IS300 rear-ended a Toyota Highlander two cars behind her. Thankfully, nobody was seriously injured, but it is likely that both cars where total. When he was asked what is he trying to do, he said, I shouldn't have been trying to pass him, but he should have slowed down and kept a safe distance. That speed is too fast for the conditions. You should slow down when driving at night. Rushing to correct a mistake can easily cause you to lose control of the steering wheel. It happened in Ontario, California, on San Antonio Avenue and D Street. That's the consequence of running a stop sign. Please obey traffic signs and signal. People seem to take drunk driving too seriously. Luckily, that road was quite deserted at that time. But these drivers are safe to wearing seat belts. This crash occurred in Montauk Murray Vol, PA. Even though I did not collide with the Volvo in front of me, I still stopped unfortunately close to them. I'm 100% sure he was on his phone, but Figures says that he dozed off, and thank God he's not fine. Oh my God! <laughs> The guy who pulled over isn't the one overtaking. He stopped and apologized for not catching the culprit's plate number, who bolted out of the sea. I came up on this crash where this car was turning, but I couldn't see around the left turning lane on the other side and thought he could make it. Everyone was exiting cars as I passed by. Staying in the right lane is the bare minimum when driving. If that truck wasn't coming, he might have still not know he was in the wrong lane. If they would even stop on the actual line rather than several feet back, that would have probably been better. But she must have turned the radio on at a full volume, and probably that was the cause. It happened in Dallas, Texas. It is just that the driver was looking at the wrong traffic light. I really hope that he realized the importance of concentrating while driving. This is the first time I've seen someone do that in a Mustang without plowing into something. It can be seen that the policemen are very brave. Apparently, some people in white horse still don't know how to use roundabouts. I see people running red lights and blowing stop signs all the time. 
I nearly missed it because I followed too closely to the car in front. Luckily, there was no car moving behind in the right lane. Please, keep a safe distance, everyone. Be fair. He is completely in a panic situation. It looked like he thought he was blocking the lane to the lift at the start. So he moved out in front to let it pass. Then he realized it wanted to go straight and started to panic. He ended up just cutting straight through the traffic in an attempt to get out of the way. This happened in Austin, Texas. It is unbelievable that he could cut off so balantly, even ignoring the whistle. What the f What the f How the heck do you stop in the middle of the road? blocking a lane or more of traffic. To get out and argue with a guy, you almost wrecked when you've already done something so obviously wrong. Apparently, some people in White Horse still do not know how to use roundabouts. I see people running red lights and blowing step signs all the time. Meth head with a man bun tries to get me to rear end him and tries to cut me off when I change lanes to escape. Salver Toyota Land Cruiser with the entire front clip missing. The incident followed a pursuit through Wythenshaw Hill in Ottrincombe. 22-year-old man was arrested with a second perpetrator flee. That's why you should always prepare yourself for the dash cam. It can help you avoid lies and expensive lawsuits. At least, it proves your innocence. The dude in the Miata is sitting in a blind spot. Luckily, his train horse saved his Miata again. That's the price you pay for being impatient and running red lights. You should be lucky and thankful that there were no cops around. Due to road diversion on the highway, there were speed breakers. And then a Honda City crash was ended by Marty Ritz in Bangalore, near Hoscott. Who is driving in the wrong lane? Comment number one, if it is the car on the left. And comment number two, if it is the person on the right. Observe traffic in the straight lane carefully before deciding to turn because they have the right of way over you unless they have a red light. He blamed it on the car with the dash cam stopping suddenly, but it was clear that he didn't keep a safe distance and wasn't paying attention at all. One driver is making a left hand turn on a late yellow. Whoa! And the other driver runs the red light. Both are at fault. You should slow down when approaching the intersection. And when exiting the turn, you should also be alert, as you cannot rush out at that speed. The Taunty Town police show a high-speed chase ending in a rollover. Better to go to pit maneuver school or go to the Arkansas State Highway Patrol. They know how to pit stop. <laughs> The other guy ran a red light. As you can see, the light was green on my side, and this occurred in Birmingham, Alabama. It can be clearly seen that the other guy ran the red light, probably not paying attention. Do not follow the car in front. Watch your traffic signals. He literally just did not look at all, did he? I really hope that both drivers were okay. Observe the traffic in the straight lane carefully before pulling out. At least wait until it is clear. The Kia Soul gets rear-ended by an older gentleman, most likely on his phone. Fortunately, there was only one person in the Kia, and both parties walked out fine with no major injuries. It could be that the OP had snow tires or that the van just had worn out tires. When the snow coats the road surface like that, snow tires make a world of difference in stopping distance.
It looks like a gardening truck bounced off the curb and clipped an oncoming car. This guy is just a nice person to stop, show the dash cam, and help the victim. That red car said, not my problem. He could ignore the red light. But why didn't he see the cars stopping at the red light ahead? Sure is worst right. Luckily, everyone was okay. Thank you for joining us on an exciting journey in today's video. Remember to always drive safely and calmly on all roads. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share the video with all of your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swike Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I